Greetings, everyone. Look Hi. who's on time today. Wow. Look at us. Look at us. Well, it is a Friday, so we're like ready for the weekend. We just talked to Joel, you guys. He oh, was yeah. So great. He was really great. I'm shocked. Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm shocked. Not that I liked him a lot. Yeah, we really liked him. Where's everyone in the chat? Let's get this chat going. We have the first look. We'll watch it after we start recapping. So let's mm -hmm. just get into the recap. If you're new here, After the Island, we talk about all things Love Island, USA. Season four we're on right now. Season three of Love Island. I mean, After the Island. Hello. I was like, what are we talking about with That's season a little three confusing. today? That's confusing. Also, just want to let everyone know that I was 100% wrong about four families visiting. It is five. My apologies for coming at everyone. Winston did not come to work today. Winston did not. No, I feel really bad. Is he feeling he better? Car sick. Yeah, he's better. I think he was car sick just because the drive um, has been longer than normally lately for with LA traffic. Yeah, Lithuania in the house. Hey. Thank I you. love that. Thank you for joining. Okay. I did Lithuanian friend. Let's get down to it. This is going to be a quick recap, yes. guys, because, you know, not much, really. Just the baby challenge and a few. Ah, a lot Thank of things you. are happening. Thank you. So Phoebe and Chad, you know. They get together. They get together. We saw that weird proposal couple up in the previous episode. Yes. I feel like they vibe. They, they do. do. Vibe. They are into each other. I like think I they're called into it. each other. I knew it. I. They are a little cringe, Kate. It's fine. We're just going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they really like each other. I think they do. They seem to be getting along. And you know what? Somehow, I feel Phoebe is going to wiggle her way into the final four couples. Totally. She's wiggled her way this far. Why not make it all the way? The villains are finally coupled. We love, love to it. see that. I told you we needed this. We did. It just gives us more tea, you know? It really does. It does. So Deb is still reeling from this conversation between her and Mackenzie. Yeah, she's spiraling. Spiraling. And uh, it's really, watch them win. Stop it. No, um, they would never. They, I feel so bad. I, I feel know. so bad about this whole situation. She's so in her head. She can't think straight about what's going on even at this point. I'm like, no, we did not see that. Send us a someone link. Someone send it. Someone send it. We warned you guys something was happening. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> um, the, what confuses me about the situation with Deb and Jesse is that when she's talking to Zeta and about this whole thing, she says that he checks all of her boxes, but, but what's like, the one missing? Yeah, we're like, well, what boxes is he even checking for her? Right. Like, because we don't get an like, answer does he make her laugh does he make her feel like she's herself does she does he make her feel confident it's so strange i'm like yeah. what boxes does he check yeah no i totally agree and, and i feel like we don't we don't understand because they're yeah. not showing something that we just can't get a grasp on their relationship and maybe there are some that he is checking like she's saying but it's like you can't even pinpoint what they are because the feelings are just so confusing. And I don't like that. It should be clear, like, I like that this person does this for me or I like that we get along in this way. Like, right. It's really weird. She said that he makes her boring. I get that. But I want her to voice that to him. Yeah. Like, why can't she not? Because I feel like she didn't. Right. And Alex and I were talking, we're like, why can't she have this conversation with him and be upfront about what's going wrong and same with him with her like why is he not more upfront like I think she needs to sit him down and tell him like this is what I need from you right. and this is exactly what you need to do or this isn't gonna work right because it's so like oh we'll get there I'm yes. giving him time like no you're not gonna get there because by this point you're clearly not getting anywhere so you need to be like I need this yes and I think that je they just don't have the communication that, no, that, that is need. to make a successful couple. And she voices in bed before they go to bed or they're laying in bed. She goes, um, I'm scared about the real world, which is super telling. And 
I think she's getting really nervous about what's going to happen when they leave the villa because yeah. leaving the villa is so different and going into it's the so real different. world and building this relationship is hard. They live in different places. Mm -hmm. He lives in Texas, I think. I just don't see it working. And it's so sad. Yeah. I they need to have open communication. It's and both of them seem to struggle with it. And I relate to that in ways where she makes jokes, but like at some point if you're feeling this way, you have to say what you're feeling because it's just going to be this back and forth. And Jesse is clearly, he's not getting it. He's not getting it. And she's going to have to spell it out for him. Yeah. And I'm wondering too, if the main element that's missing is like a physical level, like he's not like, we don't see him like grabbing her around the house like hugging her touching mm -hmm. her face playing with her hair like he's not super physically intimate with her like from what we see and I feel like that's a huge thing like Alex even pointed out at the beginning of the season she was like I just love making out like when we do see them make out it's always super uncomfortable and feels like wrong or like he doesn't want it like she I think she becomes reserved when she's around yes. him when she's not actually reserved and that's just like a really weird feeling like you can't have a sustainable relationship if you can't just be yourself or figure out how to be yourself and it, i think she's coming to the terms of like i just can't figure out how to be myself around you right and that's the worst possible that's the worst it could go like yeah. that's absolutely terrible wait this that someone just wrote is like so true he seems to just joke about anything sexual with her i feel like he can't be sexual with her and I feel like because he's so uncomfy and like awkward about it, she can't then be like right. a dominant person about it because he's just made it too uncomfortable to get to that point. Right. And let's just talk about it since we're on the topic of Deb and Jesse. The whole awkward going to ask her to be his girlfriend. Yeah. This Elizabeth, literally, I just made her watch it and she was like, I don't know if I can watch it again. It made me so sick. No, I could not watch it twice. I had to play on my phone because I watched it last night and I was like, this is just like brutal to watch. Like, it's so uncomfortable. I feel so bad. Like, obviously, I'm hurting for Jesse. Like, I do think he does want this. Do I feel like everyone feels so much pressure they can't think straight at this yes. point in the season? Absolutely. It was so I, hard to watch. I I feel for both of them, and like Same. I don't think it's either one of them their faults. No, I'm like that. I don't know if that came out right, but it's it's almost like everyone in the villa is kind of solidifying their relationship and making it official, making a commitment, and yeah. it's almost like Jesse feels like he has to do it. And that's no reason to do it. And I feel like no. maybe that's what Deb was trying to get across. That's like best case scenario what she was trying to get across. Yeah, though. totally. But like what I'm upset that we didn't see is more of the conversation. I want to know, know if she told him that there's something missing. Something isn't there. Um, I, I don't know. She told him that she wants she would like to be his girlfriend at some, some point, point which kind of gives me conflicting i know i we just needed the whole conversation yeah. to be able to like debrief it all like we're getting a chopped up part of this conversation that tells a bigger story of what's happening and we're missing so many pieces that is crucial to know to understand like what's going on yeah but i mean bottom line is there's just something that's not there yeah and I think that Deb made a good point when, once she said no. Everyone's saying like she did handle it very well. And I think her saying we've gone at a different pace than everyone in this villa. Yeah. Why are we changing it up now? Yeah. And I see that and I think she feels rushed and I think yeah. she's so conflicted with her feelings. Yeah. And it's like, like Elizabeth said, it's about that time. This is when the heat of love island hits you yeah and you feel like you, you don't you don't know what to do especially if you're in that kind of it, situation it feels like and for you guys to think of it in your own terms kind of how people say once you're seeing for someone for three months if they haven't defined the relationship by then of like what's going on with you guys then you should probably move on because if someone hasn't figured out in three months whether or not they like you or not move on and it just kind of feels like that's how it feels on Love Island, except for you add on top of that someone also saying, 
And since we hit the three months, you need to decide by tonight what right. you're doing. Right. That's what Love Island feels like. Right. And it's so you can see how that feels almost unfair because you're like, well, I need more time or maybe one more day or one more hour. Like, I don't know. And you're dealt with that kind of pressure. Like, OK, so all these three months, like, are we just walking away from this? Like what? Yeah. Like having to make a decision. And this is such a good I think we talked about it a little bit yesterday is that this is a crazy situation for a day one couple. It's been their entire journey. And right. It's when I think about it, it's interesting because <laughs> ma'am, um, it's interesting because like you said, three months, we, we calculate that as the time in the villa and you're with each other 24 yeah. seven. You usually know if you don't like someone or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just, I don't know. I, I don't just, know what she's feeling or what she's going through, but I think she really needs to sit down like, and I know it's really hard in there to take time for yourself, but she needs to sit down with her thoughts and very good. We pointed this out. <laughs> very good. A plus. She did say when Zita so, or someone asked, how would you feel without him do you think that you would be okay and she said i think i would be fine which is the that is like then so that's, that's kind of the answer you. we were looking for so my opinion at that point call it quits be friends yeah it's heartbreaking for jesse like yes. obviously we all feel for him we've all been heartbroken before but he needs to be able to move on too like she can't also drag this on with him if she doesn't see it because that's also not fair to him because yeah. he needs to be able to you know find his person where he can, you know, learn from this and learn, okay, I need to open up maybe quicker next time. Or, you know, each relationship is a new learning experience. I just feel like they kind of need to just be done with this at this point. Yeah. So if it's up for me, up to me, I would send them home and I would let Chad and Phoebe stay like. Come yeah, finals. I think that's what's going to happen, to be honest, as much as I don't want to see Deb and Jesse yeah. go because I do. I love them both as people separately i just don't think that they're right for each other yeah um isaiah giving advice like, it's just a, never no. goes well <laughs> no it doesn't and also someone wrote what advice you think maddie would give i think she would tell her to move on and that this just maybe isn't for you and that like you can have a really good relationship with someone but it might just not be the one and there's no point in dragging something on if you already know that like it's not going to be end game right totally and I just feel, I mean, my had a pit in my stomach watching Jesse talk about how it just hurt. And I, yeah. I'm i scared that he's going to shut down. And I think that is kind of telling. And he's probably, they're probably going to go home tonight. Yeah. Wish we could swap out Chad and Phoebe for Bella and Joel. I know. Or Maddie and Andy. Yes. We have so many couples on the outside or Kat and Jared. Um, but... We're wishing, yeah, he said, I don't know how to act now, Jesse. Yeah. Which we were worried about him just shutting down now after this. Like he hits rejection. He doesn't seem like someone's going to deal with this very well. I think he is going to completely shut down. And I just don't see how they can move forward with the show with him shutting down. Totally agree. So they get babies. On a lighter on a lighter note, let's talk about the babies. I hate the baby episode. Elizabeth I hates I hate this. it. I think it's so cringe. I hate the baby dolls. They just cry. They're so annoying. We did die that we wrote down that Jeff was like, when do they laugh? Like, do they yeah. laugh? It's Jeff's, hilarious. Jeff's they quotes. just cry. Those robots literally Do just they cry. ever laugh? He picked up the baby and he said, so ass up. Oh my God. And then he picked it up by its arm. He was like, where's your mama? <laughs> so funny. All you the girls hiding too was hilarious. And the they, guys had to come find them. I guess they like can't go out because of COVID. Because yeah. usually we would go Maybe somewhere. Maybe they don't have epic days then. They're definitely having epic days. I hope so. I hope so. Just no baby outing. I, no baby lunch outing. <laughs> um, The names of the babies. I only caught a few. But Ace and, and Alia. Alayla. 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 Very Gen Z of them. Someone Very said Gen in the Z. villa, and I was like, "Yeah, that's that's true." Zimmy, did they name their baby nine? Shut your ass up! Stop. Dead. Um, Naja, they named Violet. 
I don't. We kept thinking oh, it's a toilet. Bill. Yeah, I thought it said toilet on the water bottle. I'm like reading it backwards. I'm like whoa. Debs was Bill. Bill. Um, she would name her kid Bill. It's like Lil Bill. Uh, Jeff icing out the baby was one for the books. Love to see it. And Zimmy were great parents. They were taking they were, this so seriously. They were, so, they were using like real life serious conversations about it. She's like, I just don't know if I'm ready to be a parent yet. I'm 29, but like I'm not there yet. I'm like, oh my gosh. I like Alex and I were like, it's more fun when they just like take it silly and they're not yeah. serious about it. But someone but, had to be serious, I guess. But Zita in the beach hut, she was like, honestly, every day it just like I keep just liking him more and more. And I'm like, do I think I love you watching him with this child. And then she's like, I just don't understand. He just keeps getting better and better. I'm waiting for him to come out and like, tell me he's killed someone. And I was like, that is me in every situation. Hilarious. Yeah. You're like, I'm just looking for when this yes. all goes wrong. It just, it's too good to be true. Yes. Phoebe says that she wants to be the mom that her mom was to her. I thought that was sweet. Yeah, that was sweet. And Deb running away from the baby was truly Sprinting hilarious. Down the stairs. And Jesse just like, look at your mom. Look at your mom. Look at her go Here down the goes. stairs. Look at her leave. <laughs> so all of the couples passed the challenge except for Deb and Jesse. Oh, just just a foreshadow. I'm like, is this telling? Yeah, foreshadowing. Um, and then basically the rest of the well. We t- we went over Deb and Je- we went backwards. Uh, Jesse, yeah, but that was the most important. And then we had a hideaway text. So yeah. we, Naja, uh, as well before. I just huh. I don't want to touch on that. Oh yeah, when Jesse and Timmy were talking, it was so hard. Like, but Timmy was giving him great advice, saying like, yeah. this chapter isn't closed. Every couple isn't the same." And yeah. Jesse was just like, "That shit don't feel good." And Deb, Sydney, and Zita were talking on the swings, and Deb's like, he asked me to be his girlfriend. And I said no. And you see Sydney's face, and she's like, fuck. Yeah. So they all know something. There's something we're not getting. Yeah. Out of this that's I, like missing besides, or that Deb has said. Besides like, that, they like are not compatible. We need to understand. Like, I just don't understand. Do you think Deb like thought more guys were going to be coming in? I don't know. I mean, she's been riding it with Jesse for so long. She I think she was Kyle. just, yeah, Tell but more. I think that, I think that she would have gone back to Jesse if, even if he stayed. Same, but then I think if there was someone else new, then maybe him, maybe like a different new fun guy. Like I think Voldemort just wasn't the option. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't so know. we go to the hideaway, Naja and Jeff and Naja's getting ready. And the girls are like, do you think you're going to have sex? And she's like, no. And then she starts dying laughing and she's like, I don't know. Of course. I mean, yeah. And then as the boys are saying bye to Jeff, they're all like, you're about to have a son. Love Island. New new baby. Oh, my gosh. I did not catch that. And that's hilarious. Jeff bringing the 2% milk and a backpack. Ew. Dead. Hate when people drink milk. milk. I love milk. I hate when people drink milk. I love like coconut milk. Coconut milk or dye. Like I hate when people drink milk. I straight to the mouth from the carton and his backpack. (laughs) Also, the the baby holders looked like bulletproof vests. Those strollers were nice though. They were like pimped out strollers, but those were expensive. Um, apparently those babies are actually expensive too. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to bang them up because they get really mad at you because they're expensive. Also, while you're on here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are looking for Ooh. a boost in subscribers. Yeah, we want to hit 25. Certain... Yeah, we're really close to 25 subscribers. So send it to a friend. Subscribe off a fake account. We don't care. We want to get there. Yeah. It is crucial um, for us to bump that to 25 subscribers. So if you're listening right now, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And like this video. And like this video while you're on here. Why not? It's Friday. It's party. We miss Dala Awa. It's Dala Awa in one minute. It can be that one ever. Um, I died when they were in the hideaway and Jeff had to give the speech. And he just goes, cheers to the hideaway. (laughs) That was his toast. Stop. (laughs) That was his toast. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Um, It's like it's someone's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's it. Okay. Let's watch the first look. I know that was a speedy one. uh, But we have a call for... 
potential merch actually. Yes. So so this is for you guys. It is. Y'all racked up yesterday. I'm dead. All right, we're gonna put on the first look. Take away this. Save your money for the merch. Yeah, man. I'll do uh oh, we're really big. There we go. Now we're red. Where's my puppy? Oh, it's my mom. Here's my little girl. Babe. You've been dancing a lot and you told me you couldn't dance. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crying. Look at the family. <laughs> I see you. We moved here. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> Let's take it to the end. <laughs> this episode I saw was the, the one where the Twitter comment came out regarding Edie's natural beauty supposedly being compared to you. <laughs> Don't cry. You're going to make us cry. <laughs> Twitter is more, 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 more nita. Gracias. Will all Islanders gather at the fire pit? Oh, no. Islanders, tonight one couple will leave the villa. The other four couples will be going through to the Love Island USA finale. Wow. Who goes and who stays will not be decided by America. This time, the decision is completely in your hands. I love Deb. I love Jesse. I don't know if I love them together. It's Anthony. They've been through a lot. At the end of the day, they are boyfriend and girlfriend now. There's a lot of potential between those two. I think they are compatible. And it sucks that they haven't been here that long. Jeff is you know, willing to do anything for Naja. I hate it when it's in our hands. Yeah. The couple we would like to send home is... The couple we decided to send home is... The couple we're sending home. The couple we have decided to send home is... Buddy, buddy, bro. Buddy, buddy, Jeff. Oh, we can talk about it. Don't say buddy, buddy. That's how I feel. So confused by that Wait. last bit of drama. Buddy, buddy, is he talking about Timmy is- and Zita? That is weird. Because she just came at him. Yeah, she did. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, shit. I think Deb and Jesse are going home. Yeah, I think it's Deb and Jesse for sure. Not Phoebe and Chad saying Sydney and Isaiah. What it, yeah, so, someone was like, what if they went Survivor style and voted out uh, Zimmy? Dude, like, that would be we've crazy. never seen this before yeah. in Love Island. It's literally Survivor style. That's Elizabeth wild. did. She made this prediction. Elizabeth got a prediction right. I did Dala guys. Awa for that. Woo! You did. I I'm never scared, thought it would though. come I'm down to this. For them. Well, wow. they need drama, I guess. So whoa. Yeah, whoa. Um. All right, guys. Yeah. Looking forward to watching tonight. That's a lot to take in for like a last little two seconds of the like teaser. I am shook. Yep. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Watch it be like the smallest thing ever. Yeah, it probably is. Buddy, buddy. Buddy, I don't buddy. know. She looked pretty mad though. But who is but why buddy buddy? I don't get it. Mm-hmm. They're they're cutting people out. They wanna they wanna Damn. They I wanna know, win. Man. I don't know, man. This is crazy. Dude, imagine they sent home someone like Isaiah and Sydney. Yeah. That or be t- fucked. Timmy and Zita. That would be so fucked. Timmy and Zita would be the most fucked. Then they're America not going to. I know, but like but imagine how America would react. We would all be so pissed. I know. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see the families. Can't yes. wait to meet all five of them. Yes, lots of people. <laughs> and let's hope we see the whole recoupling tonight. Yep. Is it a 90-minute episode, someone said? I'm not sure. I think it might be. Ooh. Very interesting. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, we love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much off. for watching. I was like, what? <laughs> we just Thank you, Olivia. Again. Um, we appreciate all you guys. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave us a comment on this video after watching if you think we did a good job today with our short little episode. Yeah. And we look forward to talking to you guys next time. And the Joel interview will be out soon. Today. Today. Wow.
yep, you're going to get the tea. Oh, yeah. He said some stuff in there that was pretty interesting where we were not expecting. So, yeah, you guys are going to like it. All right. We love you. Go like this video. Go subscribe to our channel. Do it. Do the things so we can be the best version of ourselves for you guys. Okay. Love you. Tell love us you. we're pretty. Bye.